So I've just imported a scan that uh, my coworker did for me of a little pipe cluster into Geomagic for SolidWorks. We want to do a little bit of design work off of this. So the first thing I'm going to do is reorient the mesh. Uh, we'll come back in a moment and we'll take a look at how this comes out. Okay, so I've done a reorientation. The part is now centered on the front top and right plane and it's up in the right direction. I've also used the Geomagic tool to extract out just a couple little bits of geometry, a couple planes and cylinders that represent the locations of critical components that uh, my coworker is gonna wanna design to. I don't really wanna redesign the whole thing here in Geomagic for SolidWorks, and I also don't wanna try and auto-surface the whole thing. Uh, that could be time consuming, and this is not a very uh, clean mesh. There's a problem though. The Geomagic for SolidWorks plugin is only active in SolidWorks part mode. That means when I bring this part file that I've saved into a SolidWorks assembly, all I can see and all my coworker is gonna be able to see is the cylinders and planes that I've created. So I'm gonna take this mesh file and I'm gonna save it out as a new STL file. I'm going to rename it so that it uh, I can find it later. And very, very importantly, when I save this, I'm going to open it up not with the Geomagic tools. I'm going to do a file open in SolidWorks. Now that I'm opening it the SolidWorks way, it's important that I take the time to go into the STL import options, make sure my units match up, and then I'm bringing in a graphics body. So now I've got a separate part file that shows this mesh as it was after I reoriented it, but it's opening the way SolidWorks opens a mesh as a graphics body. I'm gonna save this out as a separate part file. And this, unlike the blue version of the mesh that Geomagic gave me, this will show in an assembly. So I'm gonna save it out as a, uh, a part file. And very importantly, I'm just hitting the green check mark here. I am not, using mates to, uh, to orient this. I want them both to be oriented exactly as they are so that everything matches up. And they both come in just fixed to the coordinate system and they look great right next to each other. I've changed the appearance of the mesh so I don't see all the triangles. And now I can hand this off to any SolidWorks user. They can visualize the scan and reference the cylinders and planes.